what's going on gamers today we're going to be going over how to add custom map to your arc survival evolved apex server before we hop into this tutorial don't forget to give this video a like subscribe and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every new tutorial we upload just like this one after playing vanilla arc you might encounter the desire to add community-made experiences rather than deal with procedurally generated maps. In the Steam Workshop, players have access to a wide variety of mods or custom maps. These maps might have unique shapes, structural placements, or simply be designed to look pretty. The installation process for these maps is pretty simple and efficient. Although the process is a bit confusing at first, but we're going to guide you through the entire step of the way on installing custom maps on your Arc Survival Evolve server and show you how easy it can be. Your first step is you're going to have to pick a map on the Steam Workshop page for Arc. Once you've selected a map, you're going to head to its own page and click on subscribe so that you can download the map onto your device. In the map description, you're going to find the world name and the Steam ID. But if you need another place to find the Steam ID, you can just click on share. And here you can get the string of numbers after the ID equals and those numbers following are going to be the Steam ID for the map that you'd like to download. Along with the ID, you're also going to need the server map name or the start map server name. So just copy the ID and copy the map name for the next step. As always, you're going to start off by heading to your Apex server panel and stopping your server before making any changes to your server. Once your servers come to a full stop and it's fully offline, then you're going to be able to click on the FTP file access map to the left hand side of the page. Log in with your info. And once you are logged in, go ahead and log in to the Shooter Game folder. In the Shooter Game folder, go ahead and click on Saved. And then in the Saved folder, go ahead and click on Config to open up this folder. Then open up the Linux Server folder. And from here, you're going to locate the Game User Settings.ini file. And to write on it, click on Edit. This is going to open up a text editor where you're going to need to locate the Active Map Mods field. This should be at the very end of the Server Settings section. That's the first section and also should be on line 28. If it's not there, you're going to have to go ahead and make it. All you have to do is hit Enter to make a new line. And then on line 28, go ahead and type in active capital a map capital m mods capital m equal sign and then after the equal sign you can paste in any map steam id once you do paste in your id all you're going to need to do is click on save at the top left to make sure that your changes are saved on your server and click on the name of your server at the top of the page While your server is stopped, you can go ahead and click on the Customizations tab and head back to your Steam page. Make sure to copy the name of your world as exact and then head back to your Apex panel. And then in the world, you can go ahead and click or paste in the name of the world as exact from the Steam ID page. Now simply paste it in and click it as an Apex option and from here, your changes are automatically saved. So now all you need to do is click on the name of your server at the top of the page to head back and then head down to the world field and then click on change world. Here, you can name it anything you'd like it to be. Just make sure that when you click on change world, that you also restart the server. And now your server should start up with a desired custom map. In any game, custom maps are always fun, especially when they're made by a community. And 
Arc has tons of maps made by its awesome community. It's easy to change your maps and it's definitely something you should do if you have a server. And here at Apex Hosting, if there's something you don't know how to do, well, we've got you covered. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today, and as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.